FIFA is a game that caught me by surprise. But is it all fake hype or is the game really good that some people are making it out to be? Namaskar friends, welcome to Illegal Desi. Let's find out. Before we begin, thank you to those of you who subscribed to this channel and for those who didn't, it's completely fine. I hope I'll be worth your time you spend here. The plot of Sifu is one of the simplest plot of revenge. After playing as the antagonist in the prologue and killing his master, you set out as the main protagonist in the plot of revenge with one twist. Every time you die, magical charm will revive you at the cost of aging you a bit. If you die continuously, you will eventually age to a point which is around 70 years where permadeath kicks in, forcing you to start the game all over again. The developers have gone a step ahead and disabled manual saving in the game so that no one is able to cheat the system. The graphics of this game are unique in itself. While I can appreciate the art style chosen, the game in itself is not demanding. The gameplay you see here was captured on a laptop running at GTX 1650 mobile with a Ryzen 5 3550H processor. While the video capture does look a bit jarring with minor frame skips, when I've played this without a recording, it was holding steady at 60fps with all settings on ultra. This game takes you through different areas from slums to nightclubs to a corporate tower and all look pretty amazing. Here are the minimum and recommended specs for the PC. The gameplay is one of the most interesting aspects of CP. It's simple to a fault and its aging and permadeath mechanic puts out the get good mentality right at the beginning. As you age, you will also be able to unlock specific skills. What's interesting is that if you age beyond a certain point, some of those skills might even get locked back up and all the unlocks happen with XP you collect in the game. If you permanently unlock a skill, you will still retain it even if you give up and want to start back a certain level again. This might help you out if you die too many times on one level and want to start back again, but it's probably the only one cheat that you get. That being said, the game is not a roguelike and each enemy becomes predictable after a few tries. A key aspect here is that I found it extremely easy to handle a single enemy, however you need to devise a strategy to not get overwhelmed by a group. The best ways to do it is that you try to separate out an individual from the group and focus at them and use every available weapon at your disposal. The bosses, however, are a bit more challenging. Let's put one thing in perspective. This is not a game for casual gamers as it might end up frustrating you. While we've seen people complete and platinum the game in a day and speedrun in 40 minutes already, this game has the heart of a Souls-like genre and the character of a beat-em-up. You will definitely need a few runs on each level to perfect yourself or grind it out multiple times till you're able to finish the game without dying once. If you're someone who loves that type of game, then this will be right up your alley. Go for it today, you will not regret it as developer Slow Clap has done a wonderful job in making this an amazing experience. The game is available on PS4, PS5 and PC and for PC players, you can get the Deluxe Edition in February for as low as $4.29 or about $6 using the Epic Games coupon so don't miss that out. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Share your thoughts about the game down in the comments below. If you like the video, do hit the like button. It helps out this channel more than you know. And if you didn't, I would love to hear your thoughts on the content I create and I will see you in the next one.